What's up guys and welcome back to The Station Bakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how I package my stuffed waffle cones. So here I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to come and click the text button. And I like to put a catchy phrase on my packaging, um, depending on what it is. So for my cones, the phrase that I use is so yummy. So there we have it, so yummy, because you know, they are so yummy. <laughs> Here we have our so yummy, and you can go with this font. This is just the Cricut Sans simple standard font, but I am going to change my font to what is called Falcon. Okay, this is the font that I like to use, and I'm going to come up here to the top where my layers are, and I'm going to ungroup these letters i ungroup the letters so that i am able to individually move each one and i move the letters close together and make them touch um making them touch for me it makes it easier to have it cut out because it will cut out as one piece versus each individual single letter which is you know perfectly fine um, this is just how i like to do it personally so once I have put those together, I will then grab all of those letters and then I am going to weld them together. So now this is all one piece and it will cut out as one piece instead of each individual letter being cut out. So now that I have my label typed out, what I wanted to say, I am now going to come here to the size. I measured my packaging and it was six inches long the space that I have to lay this six inches long by three and a half inches high so I'm going to come and I'm going to change my my width here at the top to I'll go with six six inches and then it automatically corrects the um, the height here at two inches which is perfect because we have three and a half inches to play with so I'm happy with this. I don't have to worry about the coloring because I'm going to be using vinyl. Um, I just really just choose what color vinyl I wanna use at that moment. So it's not really a big deal that this is black. So now that I have this ready, you know, it's really that simple. And I am just now ready to go and cut it out. So I'm going to go here and click make it and then we'll go through that whole process. So it's important to note that when it gets on your mat, it's going to show you here your parameters. I'm going to need to cut out a piece of vinyl that's two and a half by six and a half and I need to lay it within this same area because if I don't, is going to be cutting out air. So I lay it where it's going to cut. So I'm happy with where that is. You know, I can take it and move it wherever, but this is fine with me. And then I'm going to click continue. I'm going to get connected to my Cricut machine and then I will be ready to cut. Now that it's all cut out, I am going to go through the standard process of weeding and taking off the extra vinyl. I will then take my transfer tape and lay it over my vinyl to get it to stick and then transfer it over to my container. Take note that the container that I am using for this specific tutorial is not my normal container that I use. However, I will have my normal container linked in the description below. It's fairly similar, but this one, as you see at the top corner, it says meal prep, whereas the other ones that I use, it's clear and clean. And so the only thing that you'll see is the so yummy. And I'll add a picture here so you can see. I 
I like to top off my containers with a nice ribbon. This just really adds an extra touch to me, but it's good to go just as is. And here we have our finished product. Very simple, yet very cute. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you know when I upload my next video. You don't want to miss it, guys. I appreciate you all, and until next time, peace.